Hello, we're going to be installing an ice UV product in a Manitowoc ice machine. Uh, first off, when you go to the machine, you're going to see exactly uh, where the growth is in the machine itself. You see, basically, if it's on the water curtain or the evaporator coil, which in this case, it's right behind this little drip shield, or if it's actually in the bin area. Uh, for this type of system, we're going to go directly over the evaporator itself. And after taking the cover off, we're going to mount directly to the top portion of the cover. And it, the light is going to be irradiating down towards the evaporator, right in between the drip shield and the water curtain or evaporator coil. The configuration of the, the water curtain or evaporator coil might change based on the manufacturer of the unit or the model itself. This one would just have a straight uh, inline coil that's right behind the curtain, so it'd be a very simple installation. And that'll take care of any growth that you see on the walls or up in this area or on the curtain itself. And also once we get once we get our lamp mounted, we're going to be installing the power supply directly in the empty cavity and running the lamps directly to your main power so the unit is on all the time. We don't, do not want it to cycle off and on with the system. We want the light to be on during all cycles. Okay, here's all the parts we're going to be using today. This is the 120 to 277 volt power supply. That will handle 208 and 230 volt. It's auto ranging. Uh, this, the lamp with the mounting shield. The optional uh, mounting bracket for those hard to uh, mount areas. Here's a deflector shield. That's not needed in most cases. Uh, and also the UV sticker with all the mounting hardware that may be needed for your installation. Okay, after we drilled our holes in the location that we chose for the lamp, we're going to go ahead and mount it directly to the top panel. After threading the bolts through. In this case, we're not even going to have to drill any additional holes. We're just going to lay that directly over the top panel, and then it fits nice and snug. Doesn't interfere with putting the cover on at all. Okay, we're going to go ahead and mount the power supply. This unit actually has a nice area just to lay the power supply in. And then feed the wires directly up to your main line voltage to the unit itself. In this case, which is going to be our, on our line side of the contactor. Right here, we'll just put line one, line two. Or uh, hot and neutral, depending on the voltage, directly on the contactor. And then tie into uh, ground, to the ground casing of the, the cabinet. Okay, we're going to go ahead and finish up the line voltage connections right onto the compressor contactor. Now that we have the power supply mounted and wired, we're going to go ahead and feed the wiring to the lamp. Make our lamp connections. You can see the line on each side directly, it's just a four pin connection, rubber on rubber. Once you push it in, it mates really nicely. And we just go ahead and put the cover back on. Okay, we're going to go ahead and put all the covers back on. Okay, now that we have the system powered back on and all the panels put on, we're just going to quickly check the lamp. You don't want to look directly at it, but you can see the blue glow coming down on the lamp. 
Okay, that about do it for our ICUV installation. If you have any questions, you can contact us at freshairuv.com.